Good morning. Thanks for tuning in today. My name is Robert. I'm glad to have you watching your word for the day. Have you ever been asked the question, who do you think you are? It's actually not a very friendly question to ask, but despite its negative usage, it's actually a very helpful question. Now, that's a question we're actually going to shed some light on through this session of your word for the day as we talk about the identity we have in Jesus and how that changes our life. See, we started uh, this season of Your Word for the Day talking about how we belong because of Jesus. We talked about things like how we are a child of God, how we are united with God, how we are redeemed and forgiven, and how we have direct access to God. And today we switch gears to talk about the confidence that we have in Christ. And today we're looking at Colossians 2.10, which says, You are complete through your union with Christ, who is head over every ruler and authority. You are complete, it says. I hope that grabs you as something stark and specific today, because the world around us is so good at telling us the opposite. It's great at telling us that we are insufficient, that we aren't good enough, that we don't have enough money, that we don't have a nice enough car, that we don't parent well enough, that we aren't good at what we do at work. But the message of the cross is that he was complete, and he, that is Jesus, came as a perfect person to suffer and die for us so that we could be complete and perfect. That's what happened. A great exchange happened in that we get to trade our messed up, broken, incomplete, insufficient life in exchange for Christ's perfect righteousness. And in Christ, we are no longer lacking. We no longer have failures. We are no longer insufficient because we have God working in us and through us. But here's the key. We must remember that it is in fact Jesus who does this work in us and it's not our own doing. It can be easy to think that the work of, of God in our life is a result of our effort or our strength or our competency, but it's not. It's strictly the work of God in our life. So today, I pray that you feel complete in Christ. I pray that whenever the, the enemy s sneaks in with, with messaging of insufficiency or failure, that God would fill you with peace and hope, knowing that in Christ you are enough and you have all you need. Hope you have a great and complete day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.